step one of eggplant sandwiches, uh, slicing the eggplant. They're about um, three quarters of an inch thick. You could do thicker. Uh, you could do thicker if you want uh, big chunky pieces, but this tends to work pretty well. So that's a mortadella. Italian uh, imported mort mortadella is always the one with uh, pistachio and peppercorns. And, um, and the domestic mortadella doesn't have that. And then uh, provolone. And for this recipe, domestic provolone works better. It's just less, less intense. So a flat surface. Smack down once, and uh, you never get a shell inside. The object is that this sticks to the flour. Then you dip that in breadcrumbs, and the breadcrumbs stick to the egg. It's kind of like the old lady that swallowed the fly, but all edible. That's good. Okay. All right. This is uh, the most important part of uh, eggplant sandwiches, I think, the most overlooked part. This is 50% egg, uh, I'm sorry, 50% breadcrumbs and 50% uh, grated pecorino cheese. And about, in this large amount, probably three bunches of uh, parsley have been chopped and added into it. Maybe a little less than that, but some chopped parsley has been added. So no real seasoning except the cheese. And it's actually half bread uh, crumbs and half cheese, so it's, it's very cheesy. This is breading the eggplant. First you put uh, as many as you can fit into your little pan of flour. Flour, egg wash, bread crumbs. Before I put them on this sheet pan, I'm gonna put a little squiggle of oil. Uh, really not very much, about that much. And I'm going to put salt and black pepper on the pan. Like that. Then I could put these finished breaded eggplant right onto there. And these are ready for the oven at this point. And they go in there for uh, three, three, I think 375 is a good temperature. 350 is also good. Uh, it takes about 25 minutes to to get some color on the bottom then you flip them over i'm just going to drizzle some a small amount of olive oil on top and it doesn't matter if some get uh hit and some don't um just a little bit obviously not too much because this pan has no uh, rims on it and you don't want the oil to drip but it just needs a tiny bit on top and that tiny bit that's on the bottom will be enough and then finally a little more cracked pepper, this time on the top surfaces. This is the part a lot of people think they could skip and it does make a big difference. And then a tiny bit of salt. And then that's it. And these go in the oven. Okay, we'll see those in about 25 minutes. This I learned at Vivande Porta Villa, uh, I would say on Fillmore Street. I learned these also at uh, 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 Vivande Ristorante where I worked for Carlo first, uh, which was in uh, Opera Plaza. Um, we didn't have them we didn't use them as much uh, at, at, at Vivande Ristorante, but at Vivande Porta Via, they were essential and they were just part of the daily life. We would make anywhere, I think just a standard day, we would, a standard light day, we'd make about 45 or 60. And then the, every part of our catering involved these in one way or another. So um, I never stopped to think how many I've made in my life. It would, it would be a number I don't think I know how high to count, how to count that high. But, uh, but yeah, it, it, was, it, was, 
It was many, and it was learned by Carlo uh, Midione in my time with him. A lot of people feel um, anxious when they see all this overhanging ones on the small pieces, but you, when you trace these through the finished product, they are still super delicious because this part ends up getting a thin veil of breadcrumb coating on it and ends up being a little crispier in the oven as a result. And when you have a big pile of them, sometimes you find you're, you're seeking these ones out. So don't worry if there's an overhang. I'm deliberately including a lot of the small ones just so um, you could see how how they end up breading even with all that overhang. This is sort of the ideal piece everyone always thinks about when wanting to make a eggplant sandwich. It's kind of the perfect size. But these ones uh, are more fun sometimes. <laughs> more bang for your buck when you get a bite of all that crusty goodness. You can see they're all covered in that, in that breading, in that breadcrumb mixture. And that will just translate nice when they, when they cook and get flipped over and... Our first batch of eggplant sandwiches are now done. Or at least I think they are. Oh yeah, look at this. And there's a little more light over here. This is absolutely perfect. This one's good too. These are good. If you flip them and let them sit on this hot sheet pan, they will continue to, those breadcrumbs will continue to toast. And here's an example of some of that crusty provolone and mortadella that you just have to take our word for, taste really good. Also on this one here, just coated. And you saw those when they were just limp pieces of mortadella dangling out like a skirt. But when you see them now, it just seems essential. And had you tucked them all in, I don't know, I think you'd be missing out on something. Here's another one. This one decided to just melt onto the, the bottom piece of eggplant. And I like it when they, when they shift a little bit. It just... Uh, I just think that it makes them look so so much more edible, really, than being perfect. So those are our eggplant sandwiches.